Okay, this is a podcast and uh, here uh, Maxime and uh, here is my special guest Eric and today we want to speak about uh, Russia and that's why my podcast will be in English. So uh, in English language, this is something special for me. Usually I'm starting podcast with the words like Добрый день, здравствуйте, дорогие друзья, but uh, today we speak uh, in English, so maybe it's um, something new for us, but uh, check check the subtitles will be for for this podcast and you can understand everything even you don't uh, know english language so this is for my russian guests and uh, my russian uh, friends know who am i i'm a author of the podcast and the website maxim grasitsky it's my website you can find the articles and uh, today i have a special guest eric and eric can you uh, tell a little bit about yourself um who are you? What are you doing here in Russia? And uh, uh, also, I have a good, great story. How do we met with the Eric? Okay. Yeah. And it's interesting also that uh, we met uh, suddenly. And uh, later, I know that the Eric is not Russian guy. He is not from Russia, but he stay here. Uh, so, Eric, tell please, what oh. are you doing here? Okay. Thank you, Maxim, for having me in your podcast show. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I am from the Netherlands. I was born there. Uh, after a few years, I left to uh, Austria. That's the place where I live for the moment. And now I am for three months in Sochi. Oh, good place. <laughs> it's a nice place. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's. A, I like it here. It's very good. Very relaxed. Very chill. Yes. Okay. So you live in Austria now so you're from europe and come here for three months so it's a it's long 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 period so maybe you have so many stories and one story is also i want to tell that how do we met uh how uh, it was also suddenly uh i've been in a nice bar in why not bar here in uh, in sochi and when i go to order some beers drinks and when i come back i saw two guys and Eric, one of uh, these guys, and another, it's uh, our another friend from Germany. So, and we start to talk that, oh, it's this is my place, this is my place. So, because we have, we uh, booked the same, when we took the same table, it's only one table is empty on a bar. So, we took it and we have to speak, you know, to, to have no conflict, no, yet, possibility. no possibility to no speak. It's interesting that you start to speak English. I say, oh, OK, I can speak English. It's not a problem. And you, uh, it's it's also interesting for me. Why two guys from Europe? What do we hear and why not? And uh, yes, uh, you told the same. I'm from Austria. I'm stay here for three months in Sochi. And for me, it's very quite um, strange. What uh, foreigners doing in Russia so long? So, and maybe you can tell why, what, what the point is to stay so here in Sochi? That's, I can make a long story about it. I can also be very short. To, to say in Sochi is only because I wanted to learn the Russian language. And for this, I looked where is a good place to study the Russian language. Also a little bit about culture, a little bit about the history. And there are a lot of opportunities, but the south of Russia was for me quite a um, surprise. Um, Sochi, okay, everybody knows about Sochi because of the Winter Games in 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not a sports guy, so I didn't know anything about it. I missed it. And I came by the internet, by the International Language School, to the option of Sochi. And because of the time of the year, January, February, March, April, yeah, April. It's, uh, it's nice to be in the warmest part of Russia. Yeah, and I figured out okay that this is on the Black Sea, and better not to go to Saint Petersburg. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a climate. It's more, it's more cold there. It's a totally different weather. Completely. Yeah, but anyway, uh, why do you interested in Russia? Because uh, it's. Uh, you're not interested in uh, oh, okay about the Sochi. I I quite understand the Sochi. It's the warmest part of the Russia. It's nice to be here, but why Russia? That goes back to the years that I was was very young. In school, uh, I must 
when we are, must have been 14 years old or something, we had history lessons and about Russia. And of course, that was the Soviet time. Yeah. They spoke about Solkos, uh, the way the, the, the farmers were, were organized. Yeah, it's totally and different life, was it? Of course, it's, you cannot compare with, the, with today. Um, that's perhaps better for me, because otherwise I would not come to Russia, I guess. <laughs> but because it was different as the things that I knew for that time with my 14 years old, it interested me. So why is this so different? And why do I hear so, so less uh, about this part of the world? So my interest is always uh, from, from that time. From the Soviet time. From the Soviet time and that I was yeah. young. Yeah. So I was already interested. And you grew, you grew older, uh, you go to other university or do other studies, you go to work, you have the normal life, and Russia came a little bit, um, well, it was not in, in the foreground in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, it is something that you, that you simply, okay, uh, it was nice. But after a, a few years, I realized in Europe, I want to live my life different as it is in Europe. You decided to change your life. Huh? I didn't decide anything at that moment, but I simply asked myself again, why, 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 why is this in, in, in the Soviet Union so different? And why do I hear nothing about it? Mm -hmm. So again, I was interested in what is happening over here. Okay. But okay, but it's, years ago, it's already in modern. Like it, that's, it's, it, it's two years ago. That was when asked. I, no, 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 that is, that is when I was, uh, when I was 20. I, oh, okay. I had in the meanwhile, my first company, but I was looking for other things. I knew, okay, oh. I am in Europe, but the world is bigger. Mm -hmm. And I don't hear anything about the other side of the border. Um, and that was for me also strange because that time the Soviet Union was only 800 kilometers away from me yeah. where I lived. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because... And I know nothing. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah, because the Latvia, Litva, all these countries, they were in the Soviet Union. Exactly. So it means Soviet Union was very close to you. Exactly. Okay. So again, the first interesting is when uh, you was young, the, the Soviet time. The second, it was uh, like to, when you become 20, 20 years old. So exactly. you're interested. And probably uh, it's third, it will be third time. Yeah, yeah, there comes a third time, of there course. Third time, yes. like a modern time, because yes. now it's a Russian time, and uh, so I, I, I don't know, but maybe it's the the country is different now, not like in Soviet. No, 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 no maybe I think it's for sure. But what's it? What was the first time you interested in Russia? The Russia as it is today, yeah, for me it was became the first time interesting in two thousand five, two thousand six. I learned uh, people. Um, I learned to know people from Poland. And because of this, I came to Poland mm -hmm. and I saw the connection with the former Soviet Union because of the architecture, yes. because of what the people are talking about. And then my interest immediately, immediately came back, popped up like, uh, like some flower out of the ground when it is warm, uh, like now in the, in the springtime. Yeah. This is the time that I started also to, to to say okay learn this language because if you learn the language yeah then you can go there yeah. and then you exactly. can discover what it's all about yeah and many things open it for, open for you you can uh, check by yourself check the language you can speak with the people exactly. you can uh, read the science because you know not many science in russia in english language or even in german so uh it's good and you decide also to study the russian language I did that already in 2008, I guess that it was. That time I found some books. Okay. I was looking at the Cyrillic science and I think, okay, hmm, this okay. perhaps is a, is a little bit heavy. Huh? It is not English, it is not French, not the Polish language, uh, not the German language, not the Dutch language. Okay. They were all familiar to me. But if I ask you something in Russian, you can understand. For example, Privet, как твое настроение? That's a good question. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how, how are you? Just, you know, it's yeah. very, very, very it's, simple questions. Yeah. Uh, and about the name, как тебя зовут? Yeah. Of course. Okay. From the three months that I have in uh, Russia, I already have 11 weeks behind me. Okay. I have one week left. Um, the Russian, uh, learning le the Russian language now in these 11 weeks was a hard job. It was a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, but it, it helped. Uh, absolutely. 
was a good thing to do. So the next step um, is discover Russia, what I did the last 11 weeks, and go back to Europe and come back to Russia again. Okay, so, but uh, you study now Russian language also. Yeah. Okay, great. Next question will be in Russian. <laughs> okay. But anyway, Try. yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting story that uh, you have a first interest. So, so, and you take your interest during all your life, interest about the Russia. And it's, uh, you know, it's many, many times, few times you maybe remember about, oh, it's nice, get a, get a good idea, good idea to go to Russia. But this is your first time you came to Russia or it's the second, third time? Oh, it's the first time. First time. This. Yes. This is first time. Yes. This oh. is the first time. So very surprisable for you. Many things, I think. <laughs> well, um, I, I brought with me the stereotypes. The, oh, plane, okay. the plane was full of stereotypes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but as soon as I came on the airport in Krasnodar, um, a few stereotypes already left. Done. Gone. Done. Gone. Yes. Disappear. As, as a joke, you know. Yes. Because uh, because what I what I did not expect is the chilled and um, polite way of, of um, dealing on, on, on the border control with the people from the airport. It was completely relaxed. And so you say that the borders, it's fine, yeah? Absolutely. So no strong, you know, poker face. No, with the people, I didn't no? find them. No KGB. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <some>. yeah. <laughs> try to try to search, search your, your, your okay. Yeah. But uh, it's good. It's good to hear. And also about stereotypes. Yeah, you know that I lived the whole my life. I was born in the, in Russia. It was Soviet Union. Yeah. But I whole life lived in Russia. And I was born in Kamchatka. It's a far uh, east. Yeah, I think. Yeah, far, far east of Russia. And uh, the most uh, all my life, I live in Siberia, in Krasnoyarsk. This is my life. Uh, very cold motherland yeah very cold uh we have to wear the hats for us starting from september and just you can uh, take off your head um from your head yes yeah, some something uh only in may so it's been nine months nine months it's always cold there yes. yeah so yes it's cold time but you no know, i like winter more starting from this place because in the winter you can ski you can uh, use uh, all this snow as uh, to, to play so for my childhood it was the best and now also i'm I moved in a sochi it was uh, five years ago and it's interesting to to hear you about the the russia how you discover it what's 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 first and you know that we have a uh, yeah, about to speak to speak about the stereotypes. We have some things that foreigners how we think we uh, how we think they think about Russia, and exactly. so yes, and th that's why we have uh, like expectations versus the reality. So first, it's the border for you, but maybe you can tell about more about the stereotypes and what what did you expect to see in Russia and what you see in reality here, and uh, what's the difference. Okay, good question. Let me start with the stereotypes. Yeah. Until now, I didn't find the always drunk and vodka drinking uh, Russian man. Mm -hmm. I didn't see him. Not you see, we, like, we drink a tea, a herbal tea. Everybody, <laughs> everybody drinks tea. And yeah. by the way, in this region, and this is also something that I'm not new, of course, yeah. uh, you produce your own tea. Yes, in this exactly. region. So, yeah, I think this is, um, I'm not, but it looks like the, the yeah, same. I'm not yeah. going to drink this one. Okay. No. <laughs> um, so that that was that was surprising. Yeah. Um, other stereotype. It is always cold and dark. Of course not. Uh, we are now in um, what is this? Uh, on the, on the, on our good Earth. Uh, forty six. No, forty forty four. Not a not a line. Uh, ah, okay. I, don't, I don't know how you call this. In, in, yeah, in this. the polar line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. program we call it. Like okay, but it's on the Saint Peter. I think that's here. So, always cold, no. <laughs> always drunk, always Liar. vodka, no. A <laughs> liar. <laughs> yeah, no. The balalaika, I see nobody with the balalaika. I must really go to a good theater, I guess. And uh, All my life I live here in Russia, I see balalaika only Philharmonia, all, all, all in the all in museum. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then, of course, the Matroshko. Well, I have to leave in uh, uh, eight or nine days. 
I want to bring some matryoshka to Europe, of course, for some people that I know. Uh -huh. I cannot find the matryoshka. <laughs> yeah. It's no where to buy. It. It's a trick, trick question, Eric, because the matryoshka, I even don't know where to buy it. Yes. And I saw also matryoshka in museums and uh, maybe many years ago, like in my kitchen garden, we have some, but no, not now. Okay, and uh, one more about my uh, expectations oh yes, yes. about your expectations well, my reality. expectations they are only uh, you can only have an expectation when you know something or when yeah. you think that you know something yeah but some expectations should be con confirmed when you come here maybe some good expectations well, the only expectations that i have uh, are these of the stereotypes uh, they not, are not, not confirmed not, not too many <laughs> <laughs> they are not, not too many i don't have expectations because like i said before uh, if you know something or you think you know something or you heard something uh, about what people talking then you can create your expectations yeah but i do not do that hmm. it's simply i go to russia and i'm gonna see what i see yeah uh, i gonna i gonna um, i have information before from internet from people that make videos in russia so i know a little bit about the different areas um, that Russia exists or the Russian Federation mm -hmm. exists of. Okay, I know that. Uh, I know it's a modern country like all the others. And I know there's also a Russia that I do not see now because it's completely different. It's a big country. It's not uh, like in Europe, um, um, you have uh, 28 countries, but everybody knows something about these countries. You have no other option yeah. because you live there. No. But this is a different story. So, expectations. Expectation, expectations, um, expectations. Yep. Oh, surprised? Yes. Yeah, okay. Very surprised. Very surprised. Excellent. <laughs> and it started at the airport in Krasnodar. Okay, but uh, now, so you, you almost three months you've spent here in Sochi. You've been in Krasnodar. You've been in here in Sochi and uh, around this area. So you speak with the people and uh, you study in the Russian language. I think now you can say honestly, for sure. Uh, what do you think about the Russian people? How Russian people looks for you? Yeah, then I must refer to what I said before, Maxi, because yeah. it is a big country. And okay. when I um, when I am here and I speak with other people in Sochi, then I speak for, uh, with people from Moscow. Yes, or I speak exactly. with people from Saint Petersburg. Yeah. Or I speak with people from somewhere uh, Ural, Ural or Siberia. Siberia, yeah, old people, Far East so also. How are how are Russians? <laughs> well, I can tell you, but then we need three hours, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so um, there are a lot of many different Russians, and how I see how it works in Sochi, it's an open minded uh, population uh, people are open yeah. people are warm they are always willing to help you yeah so this is something very nice and it is a surprise because of that one uh, stereotype mm -hmm. the russian that is rude or talks rude yeah yes the serious face yes. i heard many times yes. from the people oh no humor russians very yes. serious very like they well, forget that something forget bad that. yeah, yeah okay so, it's uh, so polite yeah warm so okay yeah it's good good it's good thank you <laughs> because i'm also russian and i all, all, always worrying about these stereotypes about the serious face you know that many foreigners um they say that when we look at the russians they are so serious so concentrated like what happened but yeah for yeah. sure i also agree with you that people uh here maybe sometimes looks very serious but inside always warm always kind kindly for me russians are also the same yeah but uh okay and uh, maybe you have a chance to look uh, at the russian culture well i i mean about uh, you know mu music about the ar architecture uh, also here in sochi we have a very big soviet heritage and maybe you also have a chance to look on them and uh, about the culture of russian what do you think and have you uh have you seen oh this is a russian culture oh this is a, you know soviet maybe, maybe culture oh i like this music or oh, i like this uh, in museums something things i like this art what, uh, what kind of culture you see and uh, here and in Sochi, you, you like it or don't like it why not 
there's not many uh, questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, as usual, because <laughs> the culture yeah. is, you know, the culture is everywhere. Even, yeah. Even we drink the herbal tea is also cultural because this is a local tea. And for me, uh, we call it Ivan Chai. It's a chai like with special name. So everybody know this. This is also the part of the culture. I visited the tea plantage. Yeah, uh, tea plantage. Of course, and tried okay. a few kinds of different teas. Um, must say, very good uh, tea uh, that that we get here. Uh, that's of course for this region a part of the culture. And there I go again. The country is very big, many many different cultures, of course. But that is thing. I think something that I also see in the people um, that they know. They live together with all kinds of different people. And yeah, yeah, nationalities, cultures. It's yes. always. I think. I think this is this is what the Russian is. Uh, the culture is in in the in the people. Okay. When we talk about culture, I think also it has to do with food. It's also a part of the culture. Yeah, uh, the food in this region, of course, is very nice and very Russian. Is the what is it? The blin, the blini, blini. Yeah, uh, of course, <laughs> you cannot leave blini. Russia without eating them. Yeah, um, very nice. Uh, it's, it's it's good good taste. Uh, the food anyway is, is is good taste. Yeah, but it's because it, it's a Caucas Caucas here. It's Caucasian uh, kitchen. We also like it. Yeah, about music. No. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I could not go to a theater or something, yeah. or, or opera, or, or a concert or something. So I didn't see some um, some uh, singing or, or playing, even not talk from the ballet, of course. But yeah. in the big cities, uh, it's not here. It's so not here. You, you have to go to Moscow, Saint Petersburg for, for, for this. This is uh, this is perhaps a pity. This what could do Sochi better, I think. Uh, yeah, me yeah. too. Me too. Yeah, this is one of my wish lists for this city. It's a ballet, a more culture. Yeah. Okay. Would 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 be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, about architecture, um, there is a no. There's not a lot of Soviet architecture. There there are some buildings left. Yeah. Um, and I found some that I said, okay, that's my favorite because <laughs> the Soviet architecture. Yeah, you like it or you don't like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, but it's not that much in in the the, the street uh, view. That when you're walking through the streets, it is not a Soviet time where you walk. It's a modern city. Yeah. What I said before, a modern country. Um, what I like about this part of Russia is the sanatorium. Mm -hmm. Something that I do not really know or, or not really see in similar. Uh, kinds in Europe. There are, by the way, many things that I do not see in Europe that I see here. Yes, yes. it's a um, different little bit. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And that's, of course, why we have different cultures. Yeah. Three months I was in uh, Sochi. Okay. I talked to a lot of different people, a lot of uh, um, different, different kinds of, of, of minds. But at the end, they all have the heart that beats the same. That is something that I see. So you mean that uh, one co common thing we have by every Russians from all the country, but we have a common common sense Absolutely. something inside Absolutely. us. Yeah. So yeah, that, and uh, maybe this sense make us Russians. No. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I agree with you because I also I live in the different cities in Moscow, in Saint Petersburg, and for sure the, in Siberia. And the people I know, I see the difference. You know, in mentality, some some small things uh, with the difference be, because you know always the location where you live in in influence in, in, in people. But uh, everywhere I see the same language, the same cultural things, the same values, and you can. You can speak freely, and uh, with every, every everywhere in Russia, the same people, really the yeah. same. For me, it's not big difference. I believe you, right? some of some of them also, you know, that we have uh, many 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 nationalities uh, in Russia, of course. and uh, Russian culture is a, it's a multicultural. We have more than thirty nationalities, the small groups of and some ethnic groups in the, from start from north to the south, 
here in this area also many of them and uh, we but we speak with russian language we speak freely with everybody so it's good and interesting yes. but uh when you say to somebody that you're from Netherlands, you're from europe so what do you expect maybe you know some angry on you or uh, <laughs> polite on you and uh, how the people russian people react that you're from europe and you're from Netherlands. Um, I think from all reactions, from all the different people that I met, the reaction always is the same. Oh, wow. Okay. You're for Europe. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm from the Netherlands. Oh, wow. Netherlands. Okay. I live in Austria. Oh, wow. Oh. Austria. <laughs> <laughs> all, always exciting. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that's okay. That's very nice, of course. Yeah, but and, how and, do you think? Why, why it happened? Why are Russians so exciting that... So uh, no angry, no nothing, nothing always no, polite, right, always right, right. Yes, yes. As, as, as me actually, and you <laughs> exactly. know, yeah. you come at the same small little table, but yes. The, yes. Uh, we're not going to fight, we simply say, okay, oh, uh, yeah. I am Maxime, I am Eric. Yes, <laughs> yes, nice to, nice to meet you. Can I, can I put my cup over there? Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you. somewhere in the middle, <laughs> squeeze, there, yeah, but it's a crowded place. But this is how it works. Yeah. And uh, I like it. I like it very much. It's something different as what I know from from the place where I live. Uh, there is more. There is more anger. There is more um, a hold back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. No, so, nothing. But, nothing. From, nothing from this. Nothing like this. Yeah, but uh, anyway, um, what what is uh, so? You know, the, the 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 big part of the questions I want to ask you. It's about the living in Russia how do you think to live in russia so for example okay now you're a tourist but after you, you you live here already three months it's not a short period like a tourist usually takes like a weekend or two weeks no, maximum for three months you can already check what is the uh about you know economy perspective or how many you need to to live here for example yeah so that uh what what the people the local people how they live are so what's um what's uh, what they have what they like how they like to spend spend the times and everything you know like a daily daily routine or daily life regular life and it's interesting for you uh, to know uh, to know from you uh what's the regular normal you know typical life in russia how do you think and uh, according to many perspectives the medical care maybe that last question I can uh, thank God not answer. Okay, yes, it's good. <laughs> no, it's nothing good. to do with yeah. that. Um, so uh, okay, I don't, I don't, I cannot answer that question. Yeah. But the, the what I see in the three months uh, of how the people are living, I think it's uh, quite no, quite. Uh, you can compare this to to other big cities in, somewhere else in the world. It's not uh, a very big difference. Um, but I see. Um, active people yeah. if, if they are active with working or they are active with sporting sports uh, yeah. on the street something very nice to see it's like workout yeah yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah it's very nice to see and they they they, they really care about um, about the bodies that's that's something perhaps that comes from the past but then if uh, that's... actually it's come from yeah always it and the soviet union yeah. we everybody in a in a garden in the middle so in the court we have a uh, we call it turniki so we okay. go, we do this for exercise yeah i even have the the, the pipe in my apartment yeah uh, where exactly. i can do the exercise the best we love it yeah it's very nice um so they are always active but at the same time you can relax and you can by the way do what you do on the streets do what you like uh, on the streets yeah nobody will look at you like oh uh, this is not okay what this uh, person is doing no everybody can do what he or she likes and everybody is, is watching for his own for his own stuff that's something something very nice i don't know it like this because i come from another part of the world where in the meanwhile now people um, have the second nature i guess i don't know what this is but they try to look at you if you act well <laughs> This is this is something yeah this is something very strange I don't know why this is it uh, it's a change in the in the society I guess mm -hmm. thank God I don't see it here so for me also this is a very because of this it's a very relaxed uh, three months 
Ah, so yeah. you relax here. Yeah, absolutely. And calm. You feel calm. Good life. Everything is there. Okay. No. Um, simply the, the the things that you that you have or that you need in life. Everything is there. Plenty of it. It's nice. People yeah. look happy. Yeah, yeah and uh, also I want to say that you are like a man because now uh, we we're done with the COVID and uh, also with the restriction about it. And now, for for example, it's free to go to the shops, the malls, to the like supermarkets everywhere. And uh, you know, it's uh, some supermarket big big malls. They you know try to ask it, but for the people, it's already done story. And if we happy and we've done with the COVID and this is so finished, it's mean for us, we, we can deal with this. And also that, uh, because uh, when I'm saying this, why, why you like it, because you come after all these restrictions, because uh, it's not, it was not so, um, uh, it's not, not about quite, not so many peop- uh, places open before so and that's uh, for you as, as, as a tourist as the person who discovered the russia it's it's good time now because uh, to visit russia many things is open for you not so many restrictions it's I, good uh, i really don't see anything about uh, what we had before uh, with all this this kind of restrictions nothing i had only one restaurant in krasnodar they asked me for my documents okay sorry uh, i don't have them <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. What why do we why do? Is ask? <laughs> yeah, I do not understand you. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Um, this was only the, this, this was the one place, and it was on the second day that I was here, 12th to 13th of February. Yeah, and yeah, but it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, but because also, I uh, for me, it's it was uh. The important thing, what happened so during the one one year or more than one year, it's uh, you know many things closed, and uh, I also feel during the life in Sochi, during the life in Russia, I always feel the safety. It's okay, like my late last maybe after 1990s, it's always quiet, always nice. You can go uh, during the night, for example, in Sochi. I'm never afraid to go out at night. This so, is something that I. I uh, checked the first night that I was walking yeah. because I had a walk at the shore, at the, at the coast. And it was already after 12, it was completely silent at the street. But some young woman was walking there. Yeah, alone. Just alone. alone. Yes. I think, whoa, okay. With, and, uh, yes. She with, the, with the, the back, with, yeah. the, with the phone. Yeah, yeah. completely, completely relax really this is what I, safe a safe feeling. what i like also and also i, I feel relaxed I, I feel safety here in this place and uh, only one time it's about, about the covid to change my life yes be in, 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 in a big in a big wave but now it's i see that it's opening and it's also again cal- calm period for me i hope now it's it's more calm and it's uh, always will be like this and uh, what about the economy what about the money uh, because uh, the price is in uh, how the prices in Austria and how the prices in uh, Russia. Ooh. So here is it cheaper to yeah. live? Or? It is cheaper to live, of course. Huh? Um, in these three months, you see that the prices go, they, they increase, they go up yeah. a little bit. And um, this is something that already happened in Europe from September 20, uh, 2021. Yeah. So we are the now crisis. in 2022. Oh, okay. yeah. But there the prices go up already from that time. Um, so I don't know what happened before, but since I am here in these three months, okay, the prices uh, go up, but it's everywhere. No. And for example, if you buy electronics, uh, electronic products, they are extremely expensive now. Yeah. Yeah. In Europe also, and funny perhaps to uh, to 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 tell you, a friend in uh, the Netherlands, he gave me for three years ago or two years ago. Uh, oven with the microwave combination. Oh, okay. But the kitchen microwave oven. Yeah, yeah, the kitchen oven and the microwave okay. function did not work. But he didn't need this oven, and I took it with me. Um, and now, for one week ago, he asked me, "Do you have this oven?" Yes, I still have it. Yes, but you don't don't need it. I, no, I still don't need it. Can you please bring it back because mine uh, broke down? And I want to buy a new one, but these are so extremely expensive suddenly. Oh. Can you please bring this one back? Okay, because it's uh, not not a good time to buy a new one. It's absolutely not a good time. So uh, 
So it doesn't matter where you are in this world. It's this, this, the same. Happen, this happened in Russia. Yeah. This, the same yeah. right now at the moment because because of the sanction, because of the border, we have this uh, also the price. So we, we just wait and use the electronics what we have already. And uh, on the place of your friend, I also <laughs> call to someone. Could you yes. could you could you bring back because yes. I, I changed my mind and I need it now. Yes. Yeah. So it's <laughs> yeah. It, it's good. It's a good story. Yeah, yes. This, this is how the times changing and. Um, uh, perhaps no not perhaps they are changing here also so still you are in Sochi at the Black Sea and still you are in a very nice environment yeah uh, where it is uh, good to live yeah. and um, yeah I think that's that's a very good positive thing but uh, for you is it hard for you to get in here to Russia because uh, because of the visa because of uh, I, I don't know maybe any other documents or paper things or money things and uh, is it problem for you and for for the people from your country to come here to visit Russia not at all not at all not at all no yeah. everybody normally everybody can get a visa yeah um, I got my visa in three days for three months it's a stu student visa. Uh, this is the first time I am in Russia, so I cannot stay longer the first time. Mm -hmm. But to get the visa, yeah, you have, of course, everywhere the, 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 the requirements, uh, what you, what you, the documents you need to have. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, what, what all different countries need. But in my case, it was a piece of cake. And nowadays, still, it is a piece of cake. So if I go back to Europe, the first thing I do is uh, get the new visa for coming back to Russia. Okay. And it will be no problem. Okay, so you can uh, you can get another visa, one more. Of course. This is, is a free month for three months. For this I have to visa. stay out of the country for three months now. Okay. But uh, this, that, means, yeah, okay. that means after three months I can come back. Yeah, okay. welcome. Why not? It's a good plan. So it's uh, totally not a problem for Europeans to get here. No. Oh, it's good. You to know. And also, the, why is a student visa? Uh, you are not a student, or you are a student? Yes, I am a student. I'm oh, okay. learning the Russian language. Okay. Yes. In an English class uh, It's a, the International uh, Language School okay. in Sochi. Mm -hmm. and so, yes, I am a student. Um, would, I, would I not go a student? And there was only one possibility to go as, as a tourist. Okay. And the tourist gets maximum four weeks. Okay. You cannot get three months. Yeah, yeah. Ah, because and, the tourist uh, visa, it's a different... This is a different story. Um, and you can also come with a working visa, but that is a different story. And for every country, it is also yeah, always the same. Different, yeah. Different, yeah, different. Okay, but uh, you know, I heard that you like Russian cars. <laughs> yeah, I, I think for, 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 for who said the, that for the for the guy for the for the my friends who will see this uh, podcast, I watch this podcast. I think it's interesting to know that. Uh, yeah, I, I think you like Lada. <laughs> yeah. Lada and Volga. <laughs> Volga, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well. and it's not typical, you know, everybody like, you know, the fancy, nice, uh, you know, the car with the glance and also the German cars, American cars. And uh, sometimes Russian cars also, uh, especially the army cars. But the, the Lada, Lada and Volga, why, why do you feel so much love with yeah. them? <laughs> Well, first I must say, for the normal daily use, uh, yeah. I, I take another car. Uh -huh. I, I even have at, home, at my place in Austria. I also have the Lada Niva. Okay. Yes. Niva, white, white color, the regular. No, 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 the dark green color. It is okay. uh, hunter green. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. And um, this is a car that uh, even I can cannot destroy. So <laughs> undestroyable. It's almost undestroyable. Yes, and I use it. Uh, I use this Lada Niva as a tractor. Okay, um, okay but I, I the design. It, but the you, design. You. Imagine okay. you you build a car. It is 1978. Yes, okay. you build the car. Yeah. Um, and it's, after it's after <laughs> after 45 years, you still build this car. <laughs> the same design. Then it must be a good car. Yeah. It cannot. Cannot yeah. be a bad car. Yeah, it's it's mean only that uh, in the 1970 some the, the people create the future car. So and still nowadays it's definitely it's definitely yes it was the future. Yeah, for sure it's a joke, <laughs> but uh, we also you know we always surprised why they don't change the uh, design for the car, but maybe they have no designer on, on the factory. So and it's good if if you can sell this 
it's okay it's uh like classic suite you know suit yeah. the the classic it's always classic you can, so you can sell it every year yeah the same i i, I also change, change my mind about the neva when you <laughs> and it's, it's funny to it's always funny to to hear something from european guy that oh i like neva i like uh Lara. Yeah, yeah. what <laughs> what <laughs> you come you come from the country where the all these new electric cars and you say that you like neva yes of course it's strange. It's, it's also uh, funny that the, the, the reaction of the people they are all yeah. they, they react all the same yeah. what what you have a Lara in in in, in Europe, so yes, here you have Lada all over different. the world. So this is not a big problem. And even the the Lada that are produced today, yeah, you yeah. can buy in our countries. Yes, yes, yes new course. one, new one. Yes, yeah? oh. yes, and they are not bad because now uh, Renault is uh, also uh, in the in the club, in the Lada club. But so, this Niva mechanic, not auto. The no, 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 car. everything mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, cool. and this <laughs> mechanic, of course. <laughs> But for the window, you, the, you have to open no the power window. steering, no power steering, and for the wheels, no, no, no. no. Oh my God. But uh, <laughs> nowadays, the Lara yeah. Niva is built in the uh, what is this? The urban version, and it yeah. has it has even electric windows. Yeah. Oh. Um, the engine doesn't produce so many um, yes. gas yeah. or, or or wrong gases, or yeah, unhealthy yeah. gases. I don't know, but like. I like the gases for my lot. No? I have no problem with them. Yeah, you know, for the every owner, the gas of the the uh, it's like perfume, you know, <laughs> from your car. Top, top. Yeah, so it's uh, and also you know the how you call another the the big Russian car, the Volga. No, 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 or the, the, the other one, like the big, the for, truck. You mean? No, 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 no. The 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 big they use it for the ambulance before in the Soviet Union. You know, with, with the these eyes. The big ah, my my favorite of the favorites of the vans, the, of the, the best world. van in the world, yeah. the all-wheel drive van, yeah. Yeah. Buhanga. Buhanga. Yeah. Buhanga. Yes. <laughs> when I when I heard this piece first time, because Buhanka is so typical Soviet word, because we all call this steel, we call this uh, type of cars as Buhanka. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, you know that before the police and the ambulance used this. Uh, because it's uh, it's typical for the oh, yeah. yesterday for the I saw cars. a police buhanka <laughs> in Sochi. It's still so yes, they still use it. Of course they but... still use it because because they do not break. <laughs> I guess yeah, unbreakable. This you 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 don't. And also, if you have uh, some damage, you just take the I don't know some instrument and do it by yourself. Yes. You, very yeah. easy to fix this car. Okay, so but uh, to buy this Niva or Lada, you have a salon, salons, you know, so the the markets. How you do? Can you buy in Europe yes. the Russian cars yes. from Russia or inside your country? You have a shops for the for the like the auto, car, auto the car dealers. Yes, car yes, dealers. Yes, yes, yes. Why not? Oh, it's crazy. Why not? Yes. It, it's very cool to know it because the always uh, I'm like Russians. I think. Okay, what Russia produced for the world? Because it's interesting, and it's good to know that Russia produced Niva, produced other, produced for the uh, some enthusiastic people <laughs> like you with this car. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's really good to know. Yeah. So Eric, and uh, what is your future plans? Future plans about the Russia, future plans about the Europe, and uh, you have to leave soon. Yeah, your visa is ending. Yes, almost end. So and uh, do you want to come back one again? Of course. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, what I told before. The first thing I do when I'm back in Europe is um, um, look um, how I can get, uh, what kind of visa I can uh, get to come back after three months, okay. or what possibilities there are to stay a longer time. Because I want to change the the place where I live uh, from Europe to Russia. For a long period, yeah? For definitive, definitely. Oh, oh, yes, I want okay. to, leave, uh, to leave Europe because um, in Europe, there are so many things changing, mm -hmm. and they change in a way that I um, do not, I, I cannot say I do not agree with this because I have nothing to say, but I do not see my life for the future in Europe because of the changes, and they are not in a positive way for mm -hmm. me. Um, this is a complete, we can do another podcast about this. 
yeah if yeah. you like because, because yes it's uh it's, it's you speak about the regular life like yes, just uh, the, the regular life this was like for the people what 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 sim what simple people uh live the life it's changing yeah. now it's, it's not it's, the the different like no not 10 20 years ago no, the, the, in this moment uh the european union yeah that we have to deal with if you live in the netherlands or austria you are part of the european union yes, if yes, you like exactly. it or not yeah. Um, and they are changing laws, and they are changing laws in this kind okay. that you must give away parts of your freedom that you had before. Uh -huh. And it is not that you have this kind of freedom in, in, in Russia, it's not about it, but the way this works and the way um, that they think they must plan the future is something that I say, okay, Perhaps okay. not with me. So, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. This one. Uh, also, you don't see you in this new, new, new world, new, no. new rules, new, no, new year. Uh, exactly. Oh. That's that's quite simple to say. I don't see myself in this this new world. What they okay. plan for you. Okay. And um, there are um, things also changing that um, that you cannot know if you if you still. Um, can can travel as free as you used to do the things that perhaps uh, you lose parts of, of uh, the, the things that you own yeah because it is in the new system not possible anymore to own something like like this or that what you have now but this this is a, a, a I, I think, complete a complete yeah. different topic if we want yeah, to talk yeah, about I, this the, I think uh, now Europeans can understand you clearly. The Russians think what, why, <laughs> why, why, what happening? But you know that uh, where is the guarantee that in Russia the same changes? Uh, Russia also change now today and uh, this year, last year the Russia's changes. They also got new laws and everything. Uh, do we have a guarantee that Russia not change? Or now you see that just in Russia. So the, you can you can build your life as you want, uh, not not like in Europe, but in the future maybe in Russia the same the same situations happen. Who that, knows? Can, that can be, but in uh, a country like Russia, um, I feel myself more free as in a, a tiny little continent that called Europe, where, where many different countries nowadays still do not agree about all kinds of things. And at the same time, they want to create a, 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 a union, but they, <laughs> they are always struggling and have different thoughts about how to solve problems, about what to do. So there is no, uh, there is no union. Right? If, you okay. have, if you compare this mm -hmm. with, the, with the Russian Federation, there, there is- Or with the Soviet Union. Or with the Soviet Union. Yeah, we had before. There are many republics and that wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different. It's uh, yeah, it's different because Soviet Union. You can tell, you can say, you can have your your, your opinion about it. It doesn't matter. It was a union. Yeah. And Europe nowadays, after many years of European Union, still is not a union. And the changes that are going to be, they force us to act like we are in a union. But we all have different cultures, and we are not used to live together like it is in Russia. In Russia, you are used to yeah. live with other cultures, with 30 other uh, people, uh, yeah, or countries yeah. or parts of the country. And look at look at the Sochi. Sochi, it's uh, many, many people, many people and from exactly. different nationalities. And I don't know, or during for five years I lived here, I don't know any accident with the problems between the different ethnic, between different nationalities. I only see, always, always, I only see problems uh, and, and, and always come down. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so a little, a little disaster. For sure, it's a big topic. Uh, but uh, may are you um, alone with this feeling in Europe, or it's uh, so like? Uh, few other Europeans guys think like you and want to come to Russia or other country for living so and uh, can choose another country for living if if it's so uh, maybe you have uh, 
give them advice about the Russia because uh, <laughs> now you are here and maybe some guys will will see uh, will watch this podcast and say okay this guy w- was in Russia and he, he's your wife so maybe Russia it's okay it's okay it's not yeah. country yeah. well let, let me let me first say yeah. something to, to this what you what you talk uh, yeah now. before that you are alone or, or yeah. some <laughs> some some else think like uh, like yeah. you I am already focused on Russia for for more as 20 years yes so I know I knew a little bit uh, what I can expect yeah. from Russia that is what we talked before but do you expect I, yeah I expect nothing yeah because uh, it's it's expectations you have if you, if you if you know uh, what it's all about well the things that I knew I was for sure that it is like that so I don't have expectations it is like that but I, that's already more over 20 years that I'm uh, uh, take care for this learn about this learn about Russia um, and people in Europe they think the same as I they are not a few they are Many, 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 many of them, many, many, many of them, and many people that I know in the Netherlands that I talk with, um, even if I say I live in Austria, then they already say, "Wow, you live in Austria." Oh, so it's and good. If if I if I was able to, yeah. if I had the possibility, I also would leave this country. This is not a small group. And now, in the meanwhile, for me, Austria is also uh, history. Um, but but many people are all talking about, oh, I want to go there, I want to go there. Um, so they start in searching the new life, searching the accommodation, nice accommodations for them. Yes, they 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 also have the same feeling as I have. Okay, things are changing. Uh, we don't want to be apart of this new kind of, of living and how can we um, make a nice living in the future yeah. without um, without being an, a, a kind of, of, of victim of, of all the changes. Yeah? This is perhaps strange to think, but Oh, it's a trend it's a trend it's, it's, yeah it's, it's uh, some, something 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 happening and the people start asking the questions for for themselves also where to go okay yeah well the the, the last place i would recommend in this moment is europe don't go there because you uh but you, you can do, if you do not know what is going <laughs> to happen <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know it's a funny story that i told you that many of my friends they uh, they look in europe like the place for living Now you come from the Europe and say that a uh, nice place for living in Russia. Yes. So strange. <laughs> It's so strange. Yeah, guys. Of if course, you, you, you don't listen to this don't do. podcast. Yeah, listen, Eric. <laughs> you don't go ahead this every day. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, or even uh, think twice about uh, about all. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, you, you need to scale everything. The, course, what is the positive or yes. what, what is it negative for yeah. you personally to live? And uh, as I... As I agree with you about the freedom that uh, for me it's always here in Russia and you know that especially like 20-30 years ago when just Soviet Union break, yeah we have a little bit uh, criminal situation uh, with the mafia, all, uh, we never call it mafia, it's for, for the you know, for foreigners maybe more but a story but yeah we have a, some problem but starting from the beginning of the 2000s So very quiet, very nice living, and also I feel freedom for myself here, and uh, I can go everywhere, I can do every uh, whatever I want, and if it's uh, legal, if it's normal, and if it's cool, so I can go somewhere, do fishing, or maybe uh, some hiking around. Just you know, we have a Caucasus here, very yeah. high, very like Al- yeah, Alps, Alps Garden we have there. So and uh, just buy the ticket, go inside, and you know, yeah, uh, yeah, do nice. uh, do do yeah, a, a lot resorts. of the ski resorts, do whatever yeah you want. It's it's really cool and nice, and also you know that in a steel in Russia, a lot of business opportunity as for me. And when I speak with my friends, they always say that this opportunity, this opportunity, a lot of because you know that we have a 
Soviet heritage, not ma and many zero business was uh, in, uh, in in Soviet. So and now it's still so many opportunities for the people here in Russia. They come here, uh, open something, and uh, many many businessmen now it's growing and it's still a lot of a uh, lot of places where yeah. you can focus and, and grow. And also the taxis we have nice with the taxis. That's also something that I heard uh, heard of and thought by myself. Oh, only this is a reason to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it, it's actually see, quite. Because in Europe, in Europe, you, I yeah. don't, I don't know uh, for what for I should pay taxes <laughs> any longer because I see so many things that do not help me or do not help the country to to develop more or to uh, get get uh, for more people a good uh, standard living life but i see all kind of strange projects where the money flows <laughs> and then i'm asking myself okay you want to do this even more in the future that's yeah. very noble that's very noble but i think we have problems enough that we first have to solve okay. and one of them is uh, what i told you before uh, if you want to be a union, but yeah. you cannot act like a union, then I think you have a lot, a lot of things to do. Uh, it's, it looks like individuals, not a union. Exactly. Anyway, so Eric. Um, anyway, I think we can uh, go by to the end of the podcast and today. And also, I want to thank you for, for this podcast. And for me, it's always interesting to speak to the, with the people in the from Europe, and especially for, with you, Eric. Really, and I, I, I appreciate the me the your meaning about the Russia in, and, and uh, what you talk about the what the people you see here, the culture you see here, the economic and this freedom, uh, if safety feelings. Uh, believe me, I'm I'm as I'm a, as a Russian, I I know this, and to hear it from the European guy, it's you know it's quite like no. Prizes, notable, yeah, no, for me that. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, and uh, because you know that uh, we worry always about what people around uh, they can think, you know, wrong way about Russia. Really, it's a, it's a, yes. it's a probably problematic. It, it, it was always I think from starting from the Cold War, but uh, we still think that it's uh, good to be honest, it's good to be open, and we try to be open in this case. And to listen, this story is very cool. I want to say one thing that I think is very important. Okay. If you talk about uh, how people think about Russia uh, or in Europe also, how do we think about Russia? Um, I also talk a little, with a lot of uh, people, and then I say, "Look, it's our neighbor. Yeah. yeah? Now a days it's not 800 kilometer, kilometers from us uh, uh, away, but a little bit, but yeah. a little bit more, 2,000. Okay, uh, perhaps uh, to uh, yeah, from where I live, Moscow is only 2,400 kilometers. Yeah, but so that's not far away. Still, five, yeah, it's but four but, hours by plane, five hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but but still, uh, people um, do not have a good view or or, or, the, or the, yeah. the right thoughts yeah. about their own neighbor, and then I say, would it help? Why well, I ask them always, would it help if you understand the language? Because it's very easy to understand the whole world when you talk English uh, or speak the English language. Yes. Everybody speaks the English language. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah. But now you come to Russia. Oh, that's a different story. Yes. I know it now because I tried to learn three months of <laughs> Russian language. I know how difficult this is now. Yeah, это может быть тяжело для тебя. Yeah, I, I got you. Yeah, спасибо. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can translate later. I can translate for you. <laughs> of okay. course, of course. So, uh, this is all, always the thing that, uh, for me, is very important. If you want to learn to know a country, understand the language. Yeah. Not know, not only know the language, but understand the language. Yeah. You understand the emotion yeah. of the people and the emotion behind the language, and that is very important. Yeah, very important. I agree with you. And for me, the you know when you learn understand another language, it's like you have a you know spare glasses. For this 
yeah. you wear these glasses, like I'm um, using these, you see the another world, another culture, another people, and you can read the books, read the the Dostoevsky, Pushkin, uh, Tolstoy in original. So and they are very quiet, interesting. It's uh, it's like the same for you know for the English to read the Shakespeare in English and read the Shakespeare in in Russian or in other language. It's yeah, it's always interesting, but no always little bit gap between the native language uh, except, of except. the what the author want yeah. yeah that's why for me it's a interesting reason uh, to to know the language to understand the culture exactly so keep it as advice for the for the european guys uh, yeah that's uh, what i study russian language and come here it's what i say already uh, many many years guys 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 yeah learn learn this language yeah. and, and you you get a completely different view yes so okay okay Eric. uh yes thank you very big thank you for podcast very nice to speak with you very nice to know you and i hope you uh these three months in uh, in austria come very quick and you come back here so and we can record another podcast <laughs> of course perhaps you can do a podcast in europe you come to come to us yeah uh, also why not yeah and uh, anyway i want to say in russian спасибо uh, for, for this podcast and uh, i hope it's interesting for the people from russia uh, if you decide to listen it uh, and uh, you, if you stay stay with us and also for the europeans uh, to maybe know something about the russia about how to live here because today it was eric here the uh dutch man from living in austria <laughs> dutch man from austria <laughs> dutch man from austria and uh, a local uh local guy maxim uh, who come from siberia also to sochi yeah. yeah so it's it's quite interesting uh thank you for everybody and uh, i hope to see you bye guys thank you